Cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Corinthians 10.5 Hi, this is part five of our series where we're talking about the dangers of gaming, books, movies, yoga. There's no arguing it. Children in public schools are learning yoga. According to yoga instructor Mark Blanchard of Progressive Power Yoga, he taught children at Call Flex Elementary School in California. On a blog, he writes, I will be introducing yoga to all the kids at the school. I donate a full yoga program. Blanchard has been featured in many magazines such as Family Centered and Seventeen is, ha, and has trained many actors and actresses. Blanchard plans to bring progressive power yoga to many places as he can around the state as well as the globe. Part of Blanchard's plan includes working a mini Yogi's Yoga for Kids on a mini Yogi's website. They list not only Blanchard's company, but many other organizations as well, many of which are schools like Happy Land Preschool in Culver, California, and St. Monica's Elementary School in Santa Monica, both in California. Yoga for kids is on the rise. And if your child attends public school, you may want to check to see if teachers there are teaching him or her yoga. A program called Yoga Ed provides yoga classes under the heading of health and wellness for schools. These programs take place in several states, including California, Colorado, New York, Washington, and Washington, D.C. In the article titled, Yoga Causes Controversy in Public Schools, veteran apologist Dave Hunt is referenced and quoted. Dave Hunt, who has traveled to India to study yoga roots and interview gurus, called the practice a vital part of a largest missionary program in the world for Hinduism. Author of Yoga and the Body of Christ, What Position Should Christians Hold, said that, like other religions, the practice has no place in public schools. It's pretty simple. Yoga is a religious practice in Hinduism. It's the way to reach enlightenment. To bring it to the West and bill it as a scientific practice of fitness is dishonest, said Hunt. So, believe me you, yoga is in the Christian schools too. I've seen it. Parents whose children are in Christian schools may need to be concerned too. More and more churches and Christian organizations are opening the doors to the practice of yoga and Biggest Christian publisher Thomas Nelson published a book titled Yoga for Christians in 2006. It's just a matter of time before kids in Christian schools will be learning yoga and the art of meditation. It's already happening. It's been happening for a while. It is tragic to know that countless public school children are being taught practices that are rooted in Eastern mysticism and will learn how to say Namaste, the God in me greets the God in you. Before they learn, they can have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ without going into alternative states of consciousness through meditation. And it is equally tragic that many Christians will not even be able to help them because they are learning similar practices through their own spiritual formation i.e. contemplative prayer, spirituality programs in their churches. So sad. This is concerning meditation practices. Across North America, public schools, classrooms are opening their door to welcoming mystical meditation. An article in the Capital Times titled Kids Contemplatives, Neuroscientist Projects aims to give middle schoolers tools of mindfulness and meditation tools about a pilot program done 
with middle school students that studied the FX contemplation in the classroom. The article states, middle school students are being targeted because early adolescence is a time of heightened vulnerabilities due to body and brain changes. Centering prayers, meditation, breath works, chanting, sitting in silence, extending concentration, and an object of focusing on positive thoughts and images, for example, for contemplative experiences that can be taught. Neuroscientist Richard Davidson, who was the chair for the project, wants to use the research in meditation practices by studying the brain of Buddhist monks in the classroom. Davis had named by Time Magazine as one of the world's 100 most influential people in 2006, and others like him are making inroads into meditation becoming a norm in room settings. In the Capital Times article, contemplative activist and Catholic priest Thomas Keating is quoted as saying that meditation in the classroom is not a religious issue and that sitting in silence for 20 minutes twice a day gradually introduces us to our deeper self. But the article contradicts Keating's view that meditation is not religious. Like Buddhist meditation, center prayers and for Christians is an age-old religious practice that has experienced a revival in contemporary times. And the article reveals children are being targeted with meditation. Most people without a special contemplation practice tend to be pushed around by external events. Keating contends in the classroom, the younger the child, the easier it is to teach contemplation because young participants typically aren't impeded by much emotional baggage. Yikes, is all I got to say. It goes on. So I will leave the link here for you to watch. It, I've seen it happen. I see it happen at places where people are um, dealing with mental health issues. They are taught yoga and mindfulness. They're taught um, definitely REM practices. They are taught um, to really go within, right? Um, to meditate, to, to be in the silence. They are taught um, hypnosis practices. They are opening themselves up to the demonic realm and they don't even know it. And sometimes they have a Christian veneer on top of that. So be careful. Guard your children, safeguard your children. I have seen it in the public school setting. I have seen it in the Christian school setting. I have seen it in the teen setting, definitely, in classrooms where teachers are teaching the 10 darkest movies. They get to see each one of the clips from the 10 darkest movies out there and they write a report about it. I am so blown away by all of that. And I had not even introduced my own children to it, but they were introduced to it in a high school in 10th grade to the 10 darkest movies that are out there and nightmares and all the things that come along with children, even if they're saying it's not real, it's not real. They're scared to death. I had two children that are twins watch Chucky during Halloween, that little doll that kills people. And one of them kept saying, oh, it's not real, it's not real. And the other one, you couldn't even say Chuck E. Cheese. She was terrified, leading to nightmares. It is a childhood trauma. Parents don't know that because they've been introduced to fright and scary things as being cool and being something that is not real. And it's being something that is just darkness and evil in the imagination and witch and rituals and cutesy kind of things and they're thinking there's nothing wrong with it but there's everything wrong with it just like the bible said we need to be separate right and to re reframe from every form of evil and i'm going to leave you with that thought also i want to make sure that you come back and start to see our new ministry called straight talk rightly dividing the truth where i have guests on the show on straight talk or we're using the plumb line, which is the word of God, to divide the truth accurately. And we'll be having topical discussions. We already have two that are up. One of them is dealing with sin and repentance, and the other one, the very first one, was dealing with the state of the modern church, talking about all kinds of the world inside the church, bringing in the world to bring in the world. 
Now, we're hoping to have another person on the program real soon that's going to be talking about faith in the trials of life. And he has a lot of things that he had to go through in life and still strengthen his faith to stand unwavering on the Word of God. So bring everything back to the plumb line where all truth is found. Thank you. If you find this channel something you like to listen to and you'd like to hear more of what we have to offer, please down below hit subscribe like and share everything that we have here that way we can reach more people to teach them about what's going on in the world as related to what's coming into the church until next time thank you